Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Miss Michaela Myers and I will be teaching you how to turn any linear equation into slope intercept form. So let's get started. I'm using these questions from CUDA software. I do have the link below if you want to download before we get started. I'm going to do all the even numbers starting from 2 and ending at 8. So we have 13x minus 11y equals negative 12. The first thing I want to do is get rid of this x. So I'm going to subtract 13x from both sides. And that will allow us to eliminate those 13x's on the left side. So we're left with negative 11y equals. I'm going to put negative 13x first. Since in slope intercept form, you want your x variable first. Minus 12. We got the minus 12 from the first equation. Now, to finish this off, we want to divide everything by negative 11. That will allow us to isolate our y. See how they cancel each other out because they equal positive 1. Now we have y equals. So negative divided by negative makes a positive and then 13 over 11 x. Again, negative divided by negative make a positive and we have plus 12 over 11. So this is our first answer in slope intercept form. We can see that our slope is 13 over 11 and our y intercept is positive 12 over 11. Okay, let's go to the next problem. Question four says x minus three y equals six. Again, just like the last problem, we wanna subtract x from both sides they will equal zero so we're left with negative 3y equals negative x plus 6 so all we want to do now is divide everything by negative 3 negative 3 divided by negative 3 cancel each other out they equal 1 so y equals again negative divided by negative is a positive one third x and the ne positive six divided by negative three is negative two so for this problem y equals one third x minus two all right how are you guys doing is it making sense do you have any questions if you do you can leave a comment below so question six says four x minus y equals one again let's remove the four x we're going to subtract that from both sides we get zero so we're left with negative y equals negative 4x plus 1 again the four, the negative 4x I got from here the plus 1 I got from above now to finish this off we want to divide everything by negative 1 by negative 1 negative 1 y negative 1 when you just have the sign in front of your variable there is an invisible one there so that's why we're dividing by negative one they cancel each other out and all we're left with is y equals positive 4x minus one and that is our answer for question six now we're gonna do one last problem before you get to practice the rest by yourself Question 8 says 11x minus 8y equals negative 48. I'm going to subtract 11 from both sides. They will equal 0. We have negative 8y equals negative 11x. Again, I got that from here. Now I'm going to put the negative 48 after right here. We're going to divide everything by negative 8, negative 8, negative 8, negative 8. Those two will cancel out. So all we're left with is y equals positive 11 over 8x plus 6. All right, guys, that concludes this tutorial. If you found this helpful, please subscribe. Did you do that already? So we're gonna, you're going to subscribe, you're going to like this video, and you're going to click on that bell for future notifications. If you found this helpful, please tag your friends and go to my TikTok and leave a comment and see what else I'm able to help you with. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Miss Michaela signing out.